A very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to see this particular question as part of our discussion. This is a writing task to question. And it is uh, uh, reported in the academic writing task to examination, previous exam. Uh, it occurred in April of uh, 2021. It's a natural process for animal species uh, to become extinct. Example, dinosaurs, dodos, etc. There is no reason why people should try to prevent this from happening. Do you agree or disagree? So oh, to what I should agree or disagree. There is no reason why people should try to prevent this from happening. So the extinction of animal species like dinosaurs and dodos. So don't think that dinosaurs and dodos are not there. And don't think, don't imagine that dinosaurs and dodos, uh, we are going to shoot dinosaurs and dodos, or they are going to kill us. So this is not the question actually. The question deals with, there is no reason why people should try to prevent the extinction should happen. So they are just, they have just mentioned some of the large species which have got extincted from the earth. Actually, these two species are not there on the surface of the earth right now. We are dealing with present. We are dealing with the current situation. At present, we should not take responsibilities to prevent this from happening? This is the question. Because we should perceive this as a natural phenomenon, the extinction of large species, not frogs and snakes. The extinction of large species, we have examples like dinosaurs, blue whales, sperm whales, uh, certain species of dolphins, giraffe, uh, rhinoceros, hippopotamus, elephants. So we have large species. All these are the number of these species. These, these wild animals are getting reduced considerably at an alarming rate. We are going, uh, we are seeing the number reduce, reduce day by day. And there is, this is the thing, this is the thing that you have to see. Examples, dinosaurs and dodos are just examples. It shows the size. So even big creatures are extincted from the earth. It is quite natural. So you don't interfere in that. It's a natural process. Do you agree? And you should not, don't, don't, don't try to prevent, it's a natural process. This is the question. So I made the question understood. Living the reality, we don't have dinosaurs, we don't have dodos. We have elephants, we have dinosaurs, no, we have uh, rhinoceros, we have hippopotamus, we have uh, blue whales. So they also will be getting extincted soon. It's a natural process. Please don't try to prevent all these things. See, we have polar bears. It's uh, one of uh, the species which are facing extinction. So is it the responsibilities of uh, responsibility of humans to protect polar bears? Yes, of course it is. This is what we have to see because it is needed for our existence in, in the earth. So this is what we have to see here. So I said that the thesis is 
I don't feel so. So we have three sentences in the introduction. The first sentence is, innumerable species, including dinosaurs and dodos, had become extinct in the past. And the process is still continuing. So in, in the past, we had dinosaurs and dodos. The reason why I have mentioned dinosaurs and dodos is because we are not going to mention these particular names any further. But it is always good to include this in the essay because it is a part of the question. So I have mentioned those names in the introduction itself. At this juncture, some perceive it as a natural phenomenon and argue it should not be halted. The process is still continuing, so please don't halt the process. It's a natural phenomenon. I don't feel so. This is the introduction. We have three particular sentences here. The first sentence, the second sentence, and the third sentence. The first sentence is the statement. The topic is addressed in another way. The second sentence is the argument. The third sentence is my own personal view. So each sentence has its own purpose there. Now, the primary reason why I oppose the argument, this is the first reason why I oppose the argument, is the fact that the worst threat to the ecosystem is posed by humans. So, it is not a natural phenomenon. I deny this thing. And I state that the worst threat is humans. To be precise, man is exploiting the nature at an unimaginable pace for satisfying his needs and is giving least uh, uh, care to the balance of the ecosystem. I don't read this sentence actually because I am not explaining that thing. I am going ahead with the worst threat. I need to give uh, an example there. So I think this, is, this will work out. In the past, Extinction happened only due to natural calamities like earthquakes and volcanoes. It also, uh, and it took place, yeah. And it took place very gradually. No, I don't need that too. I'm making this thing a little bit formal. However, when humans sat at the driver's seat, the pace of extinction witnessed a hike, which the earth has ever seen. So which the earth has never seen. The earth has never seen such a pace of extinction when humans sat at the driver's seat. Okay. However, today, when humans are at the driver's seat, in ruling the world. Okay. The pace of extinction witnessed a hike, which the 
Earth has never seen. Okay, now it's clear. Another reason to substantiate my view is because of the vulnerability of life in the Earth when a major imbalance in the ecological equilibrium occurs. So if a major imbalance in the economic uh, equilib a, a ecological equilibrium occurs, that we all will be facing a vulnerability, a risk in our life. To explain it further, in one or the other way, all the living creatures in the world is dependent either directly or indirectly. When species extinction occurs, this interdependence is affected adversely. And the result would be catastrophic. Now, this is the thing here. Everything is dependent. And when species extinction occurs, this, the results will be catastrophic. In the first paragraph, I disagreed to the statement by stating a message that is denying the fact that it is not natural phenomena, it is caused by humans. The second thing is that the second paragraph we have said, the reason why I need to protect the species because of the vulnerability of life. The first paragraph I denied, it's not a natural phenomena, it's a human phenomena. It's a human phenomenon. In the second paragraph I told the risk, the need to protect, the need to protect the species because it's explained here. And if we don't so, if we don't do so, we have problems like climate change. We have natural furies like droughts and floods. Eventually, we also will be wiped out. There will be a threat of life in the earth. The third particular paragraph. So there may be other natural factors which can trigger the extinction of animals. So, okay, we have said in the first paragraph there was uh, earthquakes, volcanoes, and other problems. There may be other factors. However, I do not feel that those are as serious as human interference. Now, in the first paragraph, I told it is the human interference, not the natural thing. The second paragraph, I told the need for protecting the wild animals because if we, if we don't do so, it will be risky. The third paragraph, I told that the intensity of extinction, is more with examples, large animals like elephants, like rhinos, like hippos are hunted by humans. So the example is also given there. So in these three paragraphs, we have said, we have given the message, the complete message that this is not a, a natural phenomenon actually. It, there may be some natural factors which trigger. But ultimately, it is the human interference. And that's what we have said there. It is obvious that humans play the major role in the process of species extinction. And hence, they have the prime responsibility to check this on an emergency basis. And this is the conclusion. So I have denied the fact, denied the 
argument. The argument is no reason why people should try to prevent this from happening. I said, no, we have to prevent it. Okay, and we have given suitable examples and we have arranged it in a particular order. We have got a very clear cut conclusion which strongly opposes the argument. And we have written opposing paragraphs, three opposing paragraphs. It's a strong opposition to the argument. Completely, I don't agree. And I say that it is needed. We need to prevent it. Clear. Hope you must have understood. 